Now what is up my fellow prod coders and welcome to this video and today we will continue working on displaying the search results from our Yelp API. So we are already able to fetch some data so this is pretty good but right now we are not displaying it and before we move any further maybe let's commit the stuff we have because it was quite a while ago until we committed I think. So let's say git add dash a git commit and we can just say fetch oh almost forgot uh, don't commit everything I'm just going to pull open my uh, source tree thing over here and uh, inside of this file like you don't want to commit that stuff like this token like really important don't commit it so and by the way, the application I'm using is some Git GUI. It's called um, Source Tree. It's free, uh, so it's pretty cool. So let's, for this purpose, let's, oops, maybe let's replace this with an empty string before we commit it. Okay, so we're going to put an empty string here. And then we're going to commit all of that. Package lock is fine. Uh, this get method is fine as well. Here it's an empty string, that's good. And our fetching logic. Fetch, uh, search, search for businesses with Yelp API. And I'm going to push that to master. Okay, really important. <laughs> I almost uh, made the mistake of committing the bureau token. So now you can add your stuff here in here again. And just make sure to not commit this uh, file the next time. Nice. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have everything committed. Uh, where were we? Yes, we were here and we want to display some things. Now let's go to our search result component. So we are already creating the correct amount of search result items and we are passing it this business uh, prop and now what we need to do is uh, we just need to display it properly so maybe let's do a quick check so if uh, props if not props.business right so if we don't have any data uh, we just want to return I don't know a diff an empty diff maybe right because after all if we don't have any data, we don't want to display anything. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now we actually come to the dynamic part and this is the fun part. So let's just pull open our uh, Postman and you see, okay, there is a field called image URL and it's the image of the respective business. So instead of having this hard coded image here, we can just say Props dot business dot image underscore URL. I think it was underscore URL, right? Yes. So maybe let's reload. Oh, <laughs> of course we should also run the application. So we say npm start. And I saw there's like an empty space too much. So I'm going to delete this one. And the question is, why don't we see anything in here? Um, so we do have props to business, right? Or we do pass it, but somehow we don't get it, apparently. Okay, maybe let's, um, maybe inside the search results, uh, File. Let's just log props to businesses. Okay. Ah, here we go. So apparently we have it. You see, mm -hmm. we have it. So that looks okay. And hmm, now we should actually render this search results. 
Okay, maybe let's also console log this. Props.business. Now we should actually see a lot of, ah, you see, it's undefined. What? what? Is there like some typo or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> business, business, yes. Now it should work. This is like the annoying thing about JavaScript, you know, if you make a little typo, you kind of get a problem. Yes, and you already see it. Nice. Look at that, man. We have a lot of images floating in here. How cool is that? We're actually loading data from the Yelp API. Super, super nice. And now it's actually pretty easy to continue. So if we go to our Postman, um, the next thing we're going to see is, okay, there's a property called name. So instead of using this hard-coded uh, burger place here, let's use props.business.name. Hmm? Interesting. Okay, so now it should display the different names. Nice. You see, so everything here is different now. Okay, and we can continue and continue and continue. <laughs> Super cool. So yeah we already have the image we already have the name what else do we need oh uh, i think we wanted to have these numbered right yeah i think i think we wanted to have them like this right yeah but that's not really important maybe let's continue with our uh, rating component so our rating component is currently super hard coded so i'm just going to pass a few props here remember that there's something called um, where is it review yeah review underscore count so this is the total amount of reviews so we need to know that and we also need to pass this rating so let's do this uh, we can say props dot business dot review count and we can also pass a rating of props.business.rating. And you know what? Somehow, ah, man, like this is just too long. Props.business.reviewCon. Maybe let's just say um, const b equals props.business. Okay. And then we will say uh, props.business. And we're going to replace it with b. Uh, yeah so here and not here and not here but here oops we ac accidentally <laughs> uh, props dot business and actually we can put this at the top here then we could have even left it right we could just say uh, props dot business and then we can say if not business, right? Because it's just annoying, like it's hard to read. Okay, so now we pass this rating and let's go to our business rating component. And now we have two new props, uh, rating and review count. So we're going to pass the props here. And then we will say here, uh, props dot review count and rating will be props of rating so right now we should even see the correct rating in our application yeah you see like we have different reviews and we also have different ratings so it seems right yeah, sometimes it's like four, sometimes sometimes it's just 3.5. So that looks pretty, pretty nice. Nice. So maybe let's continue this in the next video because this video is already quite long. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas on what we could do next, if you want to give some feedback or take part in some polls, also please uh, go to the video description down below and you can sign up for an email list and from time to time I'm going to send 
a poll around and if you guys are interested in a particular topic i will do my best <laughs> to do so so again thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so